Hello guys, how are you today? I'm Leonardo Abelia, your TLE teacher. Uh, guys, you had a long vacation and I hope you are you are ready to learn our new lesson. I just want to remind you, listen carefully and focus on our lesson so that you have something to learn. Okay? What we are going to study today is about making an embroidery product. But in order for us to make an embroidery product, we need tools, equipment, on, and also design in order for us to make a beautiful and orderly embroidery. Okay? Now, let us define what is embroidery. What is embroidery, guys? Embroidery it is the art of or process of forming decorative designs with hand or machine needlework because embroidery is an embroidery done manually meaning to say ikaw mismo yung gumawa no embroidery may also incorporate other materials such as pearls beads quills and sequins those stitches remain the fundamental techniques of hand embroidery today the Embroidery is, it is the art patronized by many 400 years ago. Some find this crop as an income generating hobby and others enjoy this as pastime. If you have the talent or ability to make an embroidery product, you can make money from it, right? Pwede ka mag magkaroon ng income kapag meron kang kakaya kakayahan o abilidad sa paggawa ng ganitong produkto. Pwede mo rin siya maging libangan. And one thing more, guys, the art of decorating fabrics and other materials by stitching designs using thread or yarn and a needle is called embroidery. Okay? Because it is the traditional form of art that's not only beneficial aesthetically, but also emotionally and physiologically because when we are making an embroidery product it elevates our problems our stress right okay kasi kapag gumagawa tayo nalilibang tayo eh nawawala yung problema natin nawawala yung stress natin kahit panandalian lang yan okay next we have basic tools in embroidery now the question is what are the benefits of those tools? It helps what? It helps facilitate our jobs. It helps speed up our works. Napapadali niya yung trabaho natin. That is work simplification. Number one, measuring gauge. Measuring gauge, it is used to measure short distance. Measuring gauge, as you can see, is, is a small ruler with this sliding guide and it's about six inches long okay and one thing more always remember never allow your metal gouge to bend because it will never be retrieved once it was bent or damaged hindi mo na siya maibabalik sa dati niya okay tama ba next <clears throat> take measure it is used for measuring more than one foot distance or materials. As you can see, tape measure is a non-stretchable flexible strip usually calibrated in inches or centimeters. It's also used for or in taking body measurement. Okay, next. Thimble. It's made of metal or plastic. What's the main purpose of thimble? The main purpose of thimble is used to protect our fingers when pushing the needle or it's used to protect our fingers while doing the embroidery. This comes in sizes, no? Yung small, 6, yung large, 12. Okay. Embroidery hoop. It's made of wood, metal, bone, okay? It's also used to keep the fabric stretch while doing the embroidery. Question. Can we hoop? Uh, can we sew without a hoop? Yes, exactly. But 
it's not very accurate when finished but it depends on the person who made it kasi ako magaling naman talaga siyang magtahi kahit walang hoop without using a hoop maganda yung kalalabasan niya okay next embroidery scissor the main purpose of embroidery scissor is to uh, for cutting syempre for trimming, for cleaving, for scalloping and one thing more Never cut too many layers of fabric. Why? Because there is a chance that the other fabrics will not be equal when cut. Tama ba? Tama. Yes. Needle threader. Yes. Needle threader is very useful. Why? Because it's used for easier threading, especially by those sewers with poor eyesight. It is used to immediately insert the thread into the needle, especially when you are when you have poor eyesight. Yeah, okay. Next. Pounds. What is pounds? Yung pounds, ito yung nakikita nyo yung blue powder. It's a fine powder used for transferring image or design from one surface to another that is the pounds okay embroidery needle <clears throat> what's the use of embroidery needle as you can see there are different types of embroidery needle right but they have the same function but this but different Sizes. Okay? May malaki, may maliit, may makapal, may manipis. Okay? The, need, um, the, the size of the needle vary according to the texture or the, uh, the texture of the fabric and other materials to be used. Kasi kung makapal yung gagamitin mong tela, dapat makapal din or mataba yung para yung nagagamitin mo. Kasi kung maripis yan, may tendency na maputol siya. Okay? Makikina, makikita nyo dyan yung iba't ibang sizes niya. Okay? Watercolor brush. It's used for transferring the designs or design using pricking and pouncing methods. As you can see, watercolor brush has different sizes and dimensions according to their or depending on the use it's used for painting for breaking for bouncing okay next pin fusion if a, a pin fusion is a place for pins and needles okay better to keep your pins and needles so that it does not hurt you or someone when left because there is a there is a chance na kapag nakakalat yan it can hurt can hurt someone no okay next tracing paper it's used for tracing design for transferring designs alam naman natin yan next sewing box Used to keep together the embroidery tools and materials. Better to keep your sewing tools in the sewing box in order for you to in order for you to what? Para mag, mag, madali mo siyang mahanap kapag kailangan mo na siya. And, and so that they are not cluttered para hindi sila pakalat-kalat. Okay? Bag. It's used to keep work clean and fresh. Have a bag made from washable material to hold your work when not busy on it. Bag is just like a box. Okay, when there's no box, you can use bag so that you can store and organize your embroidery tools. Right? Next. 
you have materials, fabric. Some fabric referred to as cloth are of great variety and they differ in material, weight, build, design, color, and finish. There are a wide variety of fabric available for embroidery products. This should be selected according to their purpose and design. It's also um, varies from fine, soft, heavy, and many more. Merong makapal, merong manipis, merong mabigat, merong maka, um, agaan. Kaya kung pipili kayo ng fabric na gagamitin nyo, dapat yung maganda ang kalidad. Okay? Next, thread. Threads are usually coded in numbers and color names. They can be bought in skins, balls, or spoons. Okay, thread is available in various types. They differ in terms of texture, fiber content, number of strands, and colors. The color of the thread should suit the color and texture of the design and fabric to be used. Nang sa ganon, in order for us to make a beautiful and fancy embroidery. Okay? Next, <clears throat> proper care of embroidery thread. First one, thread dents. When a comb falls onto the floor, the point of impact, in, impact can dent the thread, resulting in a weak spot or spots that can ultimately lead to problems as the thread travels toward the needle. The thread needs to be taken care of because when it is flattened or damaged, it is no longer good for embroidery because sometimes when the thread is fall, um, kapag nahulog yung ano, hindi natin inaasahan, kapag nahulog yung sinulid, gugulong-gulong yan. Magkakaroon ng spot or yung tinatawag natin buhol-buhol. Okay, tangkel. Kaya nang, uh, dapat itabi natin or ilagay natin yung mga embroidery tools natin sa tamang lagaya. Okay? Discoloring and fading. Threads, especially rayon, will fade when exposed to sunlight for extended period, periods of time. It fades. Eh, ka nga. Kapag na, when the thread is exposed to sunlight, it fades. It fades. Nangungupas siya. And it, it's no longer good for embroidery. Himpang na siya kapag ginamit mo. Okay? Kaya dapat, ilagay natin sa tamang laga yan. Lint build up. Trends that, is, that sit out exposed to the elements of your shop's environment are prone to dust and lint build up so that uh, do not let your thread uh, scattered because it contains fluff and dust. Um, nagkakaroon yan ng, kapag tumagal kasi yan, kapag hinayaan natin pakalat-kalat lang, nagkakaroon siya ng himulmol. At syempre, hindi maiwasan ng alikabok. Kapag tumagal, hindi na natin siya magagamit. Pangit na siyang gamitin. Okay? Brittleness. In addition to discoloring and fading, excessive exposure to sunlight can dry out the thread and lead to brittleness in the fibers. Obviously, this will weaken the thread and lead to excessive thread breaks. As I, as I said earlier, never allow your thread to expose to too much sunlight because it becomes fragile or weak and easily damaged. Nagiging marupok na siya kapag nasisila, nasi, nasisinagan siya ng araw. Madali na siyang mapigtas. Okay? Okay, and that's all for today, guys. Thank you for listening. And now we know how to use them and what they mean. Do you think we can or are we ready to make an embroidery product?
What do you think? Ready na ba tayong gumawa ng embroidery product? Of course not yet. Why? We still need to learn how to make designs in, in order for us to make an orderly, beautiful, and fancy embroidery product. Kailangan muna natin gumawa ng design natin. Ang sa ganon, makagawa tayo ng maganda at kaaya-ayang embroidery product. Mm, thank you for listening guys. And I hope you learned something from our lesson. Next meeting, we will talk about principles of design. Okay? Thank you.